Hi, what's up people? My name is Dami. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the Certified Ethical Hacker Exam. Yes, are you planning to take the Certified Ethical Hacker Exam in 2022? Is it part of your New Year resolution or are you planning to take it in the nearest future? In this video, I'll be sharing tips and resources that help me pass this exam in one trial. So, without wasting too much of time, let's get into the video. So guys, I recently passed the exam in 2022. One, December 28th to be precise and I'm so glad I was able to pass the exam and done with that I'm on to the next phase now so I thought I should share the resources I used to pass this exam because before taking this exam I heard a lot about the exam I heard the exam is so difficult you need to be strong in this cyber security space before you take this exam blah 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 but I tell you with the right resources you can do it you don't need all those years of experience and I would say one thing this exam is really a good one for beginners so if you're a beginner in cyber security you want that certification that will give you the hands-on experience you don't have this is a good one I definitely definitely recommend this certification this certification is going to build you you're going to learn a lot you're going to learn how an attacker how attackers think you are going to be able to replicate this learning into like a work scenario you can use it as your years of experience because having passed the exam it's a big deal it's a big deal for me because i studied so hard so while studying for this exam it took me three months to prepare for this exam and i know some people might say three months is a long time for certification they just want to do it and be done with no it's good to pass the certification on the other hand you want to retain the knowledge you learned while preparing this for this certification so you don't just want to pass and just have that on your resume but you want to pass and still have that knowledge you don't want to have any loopholes you, I, I, if you if you understand what i'm trying to say so let's get into the resources that i used in preparing for this certification the first resource i used um i used um, the easy cancel resource guide so basically when you register for the exam they're going to provide you with your own training environment and that comes with the lab i don't really like their lab environment because it's kind of predetermined you can't you just they already have the steps that you just follow through i don't like such lab i like to run stuff in my own environment run into trouble google what to do fix it that way i feel that way i am learning i'm not just following steps that's already been written and you know what well, you have to do this next you have to click on this next you have to type in this next no i want to be able to replicate that in my environment but then i went ahead i did the labs i watched the training guide then after that i utilized youtube yes a lot of people underage youtube but then youtube has tons of resources you don't want to mess with like <laughs> youtube is very very good when you want to do quick learning you know if you if you buy courses on udemy it goes for about eight hours you don't want such when preparing for this certification you just want something of 30 minutes one and a half and so on just so you can get the feel you can do it in your environment so that way you're learning you're not just following something that has already been there if you understand i wrote down every of their course offline then i went ahead to youtube let's say for example network scanning i went to youtube how to perform network scanning network scanning you can use different tools make sure you familiarize yourself with every tools and just do it in your own environment if you run into trouble google and try to learn what to do i also used um flashcards yes flashcards is a good one you create questions for yourself answer the questions it's really really a good one it helped me then the best resource i used guys is the all-in-one ch fifth edition from matt walker man this test book is filled with a lot of information a lot of training a lot of learning and you don't you don't want to but you don't even want to do this education without getting old of that test book i actually got the kindle version but they have the hard copy it's on amazon i'll make sure i link it in the description box below be sure to grab one if you want to pass this exam in one triad the test book comes with a lot of preparation it gives you exam guide tips it also comes with practice question so i feel like that's one of the biggest um resource i used aside the youtube doing my own personal learning then it's a council training guide flashcards so those are the resources i used for this certification the key takeaway in this certification and what i would advise when studying for this certification is for you not to skip anything 
yeah you don't want to skip anything when studying for this exam because you don't know where this question is coming from and the questions are not actually straightforward question per se they are more of like a scenario kind of question so you want to familiarize yourself with everything everything in the model you don't want to skip anything just make sure you are knowledgeable on everything that comes with the um, exam then another thing is when you're learning you don't want to learn by definition because the exam is not actually asking you for definition so you don't want to learn by definition you want to learn by um by doing you want to be okay let's say for her for example you are learning ddos you don't want to learn what is ddos and you're done with it no how do they conduct the DDoS attack you want to be able to do it in your own environment that way you know how those attacks are being done you get so that's why you're taking this exam you want to learn how attackers think how they carry out their exploitation so you need to like not learn just by definition you want to learn by doing how do they do it that yeah that's why you're taking this exam and that's what they're going to test you on in the exam so that's it guys that's the keynote that's the resources i used i hope this helped you when you're taking this exam the last thing i want to say is go ahead and register for that exam don't let any fear hold you down don't let what people say about this exam how difficult it is how difficult it is to pass you don't want to be fearful go ahead register for the exam Take the bus step, drop the money, start your preparation. It might take you six months. It might take you three months. It doesn't matter. The most important thing is you pass the exam in one try. Before I registered for the exam, I had this fear that this exam is so difficult. And I initially did not want to take this exam. I was looking for a soft landing. But I told myself, what could be the worst that would happen? I would fail it. I will fail the exam. Then I will try again. There is no harm in failing and there is no harm in trying. So guys, go ahead. Register for that exam. Let me know what you think. In the comment section if you have any question concerning this exam please go ahead and drop it in the comment section i would definitely respond to you so guys that's it about today's video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and don't forget to share please consider joining the family catch you guys in my next one until then bye for now